Hello, my name is Cheryl. Welcome to my channel. Oh, I said it wrong. Welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're a new viewer, hello, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I don't have sidekick here. No, I don't. I promise I don't. Come here. I promise I don't. I do. It's Kendra. Woohoo. She's popular. I got a lot of views on my, my hair's wet, on my um, videos since I put Kendra on it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is my little, my roommate's daughter, the little girl I look after. She's eating ice cream. And, um, I just had a shower, so my hair looks terrible. My apologies. And yes, I am wearing the same PJ shirt that I was wearing last time. Because it's my favorite. And I don't feel like getting changed because I'm doing laundry. Don't know why I told you all that. Anyways, we have a bookish video for you. So if you're here for craftiness, I'm sorry this video is not for you. It is a bookish video. So, let's get started. How are you today? She's good. What kind of ice cream are you eating? Creamsicle. It's creamsicle ice cream. Is it good? Answer me! She's usually very talkative. I don't know why she's not right now. Anyways, okay, so we have a library book haul for you, plus a teensy bit of a book haul and an unboxing, a book outlet unboxing with two books in it. So let's get started. We're going to start with library books. We're going to start with one in specifically. Specifically. This one is The Magic Words. Now I'm not sure if I showed this one yet or not. This is by Cheryl B. Klein. This is Writing Great Books for Children and Young Adults. If you don't know, I intend to be a writer. Oh, my nose is itchy. I'm a writer, but I intend to be a published author someday. And um, this book is about writing for children and young adults. It's very much like a textbook. It's more like a textbook than um, a, a, it's, it's written by an editor. So because she's an editor, it's, it feels more like a textbook than a, as if an author was writing it and giving you advice. But I, I like this. I enjoyed it. I read about half of it so far and I really enjoyed it. In fact, I enjoyed it so much. That I went and got a copy from Amazon. <laughs> so this is The Magic Words by Shelby Klein. I'm very much enjoying it. Um, this is the only um, writer craft book I found that is for, uh, for children books and YA books. So I'm really enjoying it. Right now I'm writing a middle grade book. So I'm excited for that. Okay. We'll do the book haul later. Let's do the library haul. Ready? Ready? Okay. Pick up the books. First book, I got a lot of middle grade books because I ordered them from the library. I put them on hold for middle grade March, but they didn't come in until the end of March, so, yeah. Um, first, first. Ooh, I'm... she speaks! Okay, go ahead. Anyway. Are you sure? First one is this. Are one. you sure it's that one? First one no, is No, you gotta one. tell what it is. Okay, first we got The Only Thing Worse Than Witches by Lauren Magaziner. Magaziner? Mag mag magazine. I it looks like magazine. Magaziner. Don't know if I pronounced that right. I probably butchered your name. I'm so sorry. But I started this book and I'm really enjoying it. So I don't know exactly what it's about. It says... Um, it says, do you have what it takes to be a witch's apprentice? And then it has a little quiz that says, how old are you? Are you smart? What's five plus eight? Are you a bunny? Answer honestly. If you're a bunny, you can be a witch, I guess. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this. This, I read the beginning, the first couple chapters, and really enjoying it. So, okay, next. That's me rolling my eyes. <laughs> The Adventures Guild by Zach Lauren Clark. And, do you mind? <laughs> and Nick Eliopoulos. Eliopoulos. Again, butchered the names. My apologies. The Adventures Guild. This is the first in a trilogy. I think she's just being a pain today. She's home from school. She's supposed to be sick, but I don't think she is. Anyways, The Adventures Guild. Again, I don't know what it's about. I was recommended this by. Someone, I think the Curly Reader, I think, recommended me this. I'm, I mean, not personally, but on her video. I think it was the Curly Reader. I'm not sure. But I think it's a trilogy. Looking forward to reading that. Then, excuse me. I have... Ow! I... Go away. <laughs> I have... 
the three books in the Matt Haig series, A Boy Called Christmas. I don't know what the series is called, but this is by Matt Haig. I'm on page, Kendra, please. I'm on page 192. Really enjoying it. I'm that far through it. Really enjoying it. And then I got the second book, which is, I think it's The Girl Who Say Christmas is the second book. It's a cute cover. I love the covers of middle grades. And then we have Father Christmas. Why is the one your brother wrote? Excuse me. Father, Father Christmas and Me by Matt Haig. Where's the one your brother wrote? My brother didn't write a book, huh? All right. Um, then I have The Uncommoners by, this is The Crooked Sixpence by Jennifer Bell. I believe the series is called The Uncommoners. The Crooked Sixpence is the book. It is a trilogy, I believe. By Jennifer Bell. I've heard good things about Jennifer Bell. Really good things, so I'd like to read that. Hint of what this next book is. <laughs> we, I've already hauled this book, I believe, but it's Arusha Shaw and the Song of Death. I've already hauled that one for you, but I re-signed it out. I renewed it. Then we have this book I'm very excited to read. I started it already. It's York, and it's the Shadow Cipher, book one. Or book one, The Shadow Cipher by Laura Ruby. This book is an ultimate history of New York and it's got um, a mystery in it. And it's, it's got a, a clues, you like find clues to find like a treasure hunt kind of thing. Looking forward to this. This is a trilogy as well. And I have the other two um, on hold for me as well. So looking forward to that one. Then, I think the book that she was talking about that she thought my brother wrote, this is a book haul because I've got, this book is a book that Ryan wrote. If you remember, Ryan is my friend who wrote, um, oh, what was his first book called? Um, Murder in Old Books. This is his second book in the Riley Morgan series. His name, Ryan Hoffman, right there. And it is called Home Roasted Killer. Again, it's a cozy mystery. Quite short, but I love it. I mean, I haven't finished reading it yet. I read part of his um, manuscript when he was uh, uh, writing it, or just finished writing it. He gave me a copy, and I wrote part, read part of it, but then I had to move, and I just told him I couldn't, write, couldn't read it right then. But I bought the copy. You can buy this on Amazon. You can also buy the ebook on Kindle and also on Kindle Unlimited. If you are on Kindle Unlimited, you can get it. Um, I will link the Amazon page below for you. But this is a, Ryan is a, um, the, his last book was his debut book. And uh, he is a cozy mystery author. He writes, he written, he wrote about a male sleuth, so there's a male sleuth in this and not a female, which is interesting there aren't a lot of cozy mysteries that have a male sleuth on them, so. And there's a dog, which Kendra likes. So, this kitty is the second one in the series. She's got her kitty. We're going to show kitty. She's got her kitty, Bella. There's Bella. Yay! Okay, now we have an unboxing to do. Those are all my library books and the books I bought. Now we have an, a book outlet unboxing. Okay. I gotta grab it. Okay, so these are two books I ordered. They are part of a series um, that I have bought. I think I'm missing only two books in the series right now after I get this, so sorry for the noise. Um, let's show the box. Oh, you can see my address. That's not good. Okay, so this came in today. And here it is, all these papers. Yes. Then we have, so it's the Keeper of the Lost series series. Well, I just really you can't see my face. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Keeper of the Lost City series. And I've got Legacy, which is the newest book in the series. Ooh, that's a thick one. <laughs> By Shannon Messenger. It's shiny, I'm sorry. It's shiny. And then I got 
Lodestar, which is book, forget which book this is, book five. This is book five, Lodestar. Not sure if I have this one yet. I don't think I do, but I wanted to get it in hardcover. I have books one, two, three, I think I have book four, and I have six, and I just need seven and, no, I need seven and four. That's what I need. So, I'm excited. I still have, I've read the first book in the series, and was being silly. I've read the first book in the series, but I have not read, read any more, um, but I want to read them by this is Shanna Messenger. This is a middle grade series about a girl who finds out she's an elf. Really love that series. I'm so, an elf. You are not. Kendra's being silly today. My goodness, she's getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. All right. We're going to say goodbye. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great day. God bless you and all you do. And I hope you have a wonderful day and happy reading. Bye.